Hi, love bugs! So today I'm going to do a March favorites for you. It is now April. This is my out of the shower, naturally dried hair. Um, as you can see, I did recently just dye it again because I got bored and I couldn't wait anymore and I couldn't take it. So I am um, pretty close to being blonde again, but these are more like highlights. So let's get started into the video because I've really been hating watching all these fucking videos and it taking 10 minutes before somebody actually gets to their favorite. So first favorite this is the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. I use this every day um, after I wash my face. I use it every night after I wash my face. Every morning after I wash my face. When I get out of the shower, I use it. Um, I feel like it has helped with bumps on my cheeks. Not necessarily the redness that I do have in my cheeks, but definitely it's helped with the bumps. Um, and you can buy this at pretty much any Walmart uh, Rite Aid, Walgreens, wherever you go. Um, again, this is what it looks like. For those of you who want to screenshot this and go make a purchase. Because y'all know we affect each other's wallets. The next favorite is the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Wipes. I believe these were in my last one's favorite, but I can't stress to you how amazing these are. They are so good. They smell so good. They smell like freaking cucumbers with like a hint of sweetness and um, they just when I use it on my face in the morning it just like makes me feel like I'm awake and refreshed. it's awesome I love these and again you can get these at Walmart Rite Aid Walgreens um, CVS you can get them at any drugstore that you go to you can even get them at Ulta if you want but they're more expensive at Ulta the next item I've been loving and you guys are gonna think this is boring but I cannot give this a good enough review. I was sent this for testing purposes from Influencer. If you guys don't know what Influencer is, it's a company that actually sends you free boxes of goodies um, just for like doing a review or posting a video. And you can like earn things um, depending on what you do and how many reviews you do. They send me, I probably get um, one to two boxes a month. And I don't always show them because a lot of times I don't use some of the products because I just like somehow qualified for a ridiculous product that I really didn't care about so I get it and I usually just give it away to somebody but this is the degree motion sense dry spray fresh energy this stuff smells so amazing I don't know what the scent is I can't tell you what the scent is honestly there's no listing of what it is but this stuff lasts all day all night like I wake up in the morning if I don't shower that night I wake up the next morning and I can still smell it it's not like super strong but like every time you just move it like just gives off this scent you know like fresh step cat litter for those crazy cat ladies out there like me every time you move you smell this and it is so good smelling and I this bottle is almost empty and I just noticed while I was um, cleaning out my bathroom the other day, I have a whole nother bottle of this that was sent to me um, through a another box that I get to use. So I am definitely going to repurchase this over and over. I don't smell. I don't have a sweating issue. I've seen a few reviews where they had sweating issues, but ugh, this stuff is good. Oh, I guess the scent is fresh energy, but whatever. It just smells amazing. Okay, the next item you're going to think is funny because it's not really even... Okay, so it is the... Um, what is this? The Vice 4? God, I can't even remember. Beauty with an edge. I don't know. I think this is the Vice 4. Um, Bay got this for me for Christmas. And I absolutely needed it because of the packaging. Because you all know that I'm a sucker for packaging. And hello, what beauty guru is not a sucker for beautiful packaging? And... You know, even though I don't love the shadows in here, like, they are super beautiful and they are super pigmented. It's just, I'm more of a neutral girl, so my makeup is usually always on the neutral side and I just don't know what to do with all of these awesome bright colors. But this mirror, this mirror is so flippin' amazing. Look at, you can see outside there in my yard. It snowed like a bitch last night. It was so crazy. 
It's been super summery like outside and it smelled like a bitch. This mirror though, like it just sits there. So you literally, you can have this sitting on anything and just do your makeup and see perfectly flipping fine without any issues. Oh my God. My hair is so dry since I dyed it. I know. I know. Shut up. Whatever. Shut up. Um, but that's the only reason why this is my favorite. I carry this with me everywhere I go only for the mirror because the mirror is so perfect for me. Okay. Next item. I don't even have like a favorite eyeshadow palette because I'm kind of using a whole bunch of them because I kind of like fell into that whole slop of mess where I just, I don't have a favorite eyeshadow palette and I can't find a favorite one. So I don't know what it is. Next item. This is the Cinderella Past Midnight Eyeshadow Primer. I got this at Walgreens uh, for like 30 cents. They clearanced all of these out and it is super amazing. This has better holding power. I'm going to kill my cat. He's chewing on the sparkles. This has better holding power than the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. This stuff is so amazing and I want to I want to compare it to the Fergie Wet n Wild Shimmer Primer. That shimmer primer is the shit. Like, that will hold your shit on and you will be in the shower scrubbing for at least 10 minutes to try to get your eyeshadow off. Stop. No. No. He's going to come back. Give it like three seconds. Um. Anyway, this is discontinued. If you um, get to a Walgreens and they still have it, that's amazing. I bought the entire display of these. And I am doing a giveaway right now on my Instagram with um, a bunch of Cinderella products from that line. So feel free to go to my Instagram and check it out. It's the same name there as it is here, if you would like to know. Next item, and I put this in my last month's favorite. I cannot tell you how much I love this. This is the Total Intensity Eyeliner Sharpener. And it has a little plastic top that holds the shavings inside so you don't have to worry about it getting messy. And it does have two different size sharpeners. I've only used the smaller one because it's the size of my eyeliners and I don't use any other eyeliner pencils. Um, next item is a repeat you guys have already seen. Jordana 12 hour made to last uh, gel eyeliner pencil. This is in the shade Black Point. It's the only one that I buy. This is my go-to. Holy grail. I can only find it at Walgreens. Um, I'm sure they have it on their website too, but it's only like $2 and it is seriously the most amazing thing. I use it on my waterline every day of my life. My cats are being crazy. Next item is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I've gone through so many bottles of this. I still can't find one that I like better than this other than the Urban Decay All Nighter. And every time I go to Ulta, it is sold out. So I don't want to pay the $30 for it, obviously, like who does? But I really like that one and they're always sold out. So I settle for this $3 one that seems to just work absolutely perfect for me. Next item, I have been nonstop wearing the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I did get a new shade. It's 122 Creamy Beige because I am um, pasty white. And this is still even too dark for me. I feel like even the lighter shade was too dark for me, but the lighter shade was more of an orangey tone instead of a pasty white tone. Um, so I have been loving this, but I did just purchase this yesterday. And this used to be like my Holy Grail foundation. Thank you to Nicole Guerrero here on YouTube. She's a huge beauty guru here. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. And it has SPF in it. And that's why I repurchased it yesterday. But I used it today, and I didn't use any setting powder or anything. I forgot how awesome this makes my skin look. So I absolutely love it. And I did get it in the shade Nude Beige W3. Again, too dark for me. This is the lightest shade in their line, and it's too dark for me. So I'm obviously looking a lot more tan. I mean, if you look at my hand compared to my face, this is the color of my face. But my face is darker because they don't make foundations light enough for my skin. Beauty Blender is also a favorite. I'm not going to show you a close-up because I just used it this morning, so it looks dirty as hell. And the next item is 
a repeat LA Colors liquid eyeliner. I find this at my local Dollar Tree. I've repurchased a million of these and they last a really long time. And I always use them for my top eye. They don't smudge, they don't smear, they don't fucking come off unless you use soap and water. Love that stuff for a dollar. Okay, next item is the CoverGirl Flamed Up Mascara in Very Black Blaze. I fell into another one of those funks where I just couldn't find a mascara that I liked and it was like all my old ones weren't working like they were supposed to anymore so it was driving me a little crazy but this is what it looks like. I decided to purchase this because I never tried it before and I will just say I'm wearing almost everything in my video today by the way. I will just say that with the first coat I was not impressed. I was like swipe swipe. Eh, it's all right. But then when I put the second coat on, I was like, yes, yes, bitch, yes. Hi. Um, But this stuff is really nice and it doesn't flake throughout the day and it doesn't like, I feel like I could put 50 coats on and I would never get a clump out of it either. The brush is just a curved brush for any of those that want to see it. It's a big curved fluffy brush. And did I say what color this was? Very Black Blaze. I did, didn't I? But the packaging is super cute and this was more affordable than some of the $10 mascaras. I'm gonna beat your butt. Would you behave yourself, mister? Chill. Chill. We're trying to make a video here. Do you see this? Do you see that we're trying to make a video? I know. I didn't stay here last night. I spent the night over Bay's house last night, so they're all over me. I literally just got home, and I was like, I gotta record a video real quick. Okay, I will brush briefly into this. This is kind of a favorite. I've been using this nonstop, too, but this is the Hard Candy Highlighting Duo in Candlelit. Um, there are two champagne colors. One has an iridescent blue in it, which is this one. And the lid thingy, the clear plastic that goes over the top of it, like, just wasn't even in my package. And I never even noticed it. And, yeah, it just wasn't there. But it opens up. It has the tiniest mirror in the world and a little brush. I think I paid $8 for this. But this lighter highlight here, this is quite amazing. It does feel, like, nasty chalky. But when it's on your face, I feel like I should have used this today. Like, did you just see that? You just see me rub that shit on there. It has the prettiest flipping glow. I didn't use this one today. I used a different one that I'm about to show you. But it really does. It has like the prettiest freaking glow in the whole world. And oh, see, look it. Did you just see that? Why didn't I use this? Whatever. Let's, let's just let's just do this up, you know? You know, let's, let's go. Anyway, this is gorgeous. I absolutely love it, but I'm so sad about the packaging, which is why I didn't really want to put it in my favorites. But as you can see, I just like did a very little swipe on my cheeks here with just my ring finger, and I am like just glowing big time. The last item is probably my most favorite thing for the entire month, and I'm pissed that I didn't purchase this sooner. Like I do this all the time. I'm like, whatever, it's going to be the same as everything else. This is the Maybelline New York Master Contour by Maybelline. I just said that. This is in the shade Light to Medium, number 10. This is what it looks like. I kind of felt these were a little bit on the pricey side for a drugstore. But it comes with this ridiculous brush that I cannot find a use for. I even tried using it to like contour my nose. Whatever. But this contour shade is everything. I used it today right here and right here. Um, I put some on the temples of my forehead and then around my jawline. Um, this is everything. This contour shade is bomb diggity. <laughs> did I just say that? I did. And then this blush is actually a really gorgeous like petal pink. Um, once it's blended out on the skin, as you can see that on my finger, it is super, super gorgeous. And then this highlight is amazeballs too. This highlight is gorgeous, but this highlight I feel like on the face comes off after a couple hours and you can't really see it anymore as opposed to this hard candy one. That bitch is on there when I go to bed at night and sometimes it's on there when I wake up in the morning if I'm too fucking lazy to wipe all my makeup off the night before. And for those of you who dislike my cursing, cry me a river, build me a bridge, 
and walk the fuck over it and move on because that's who I am and that's how it goes and it doesn't make me any less of a person than anybody else. It's the way that I grew up. Um, it's the fact that I was around tons of other people that swore all the time, not my family. I moved on when I was super young. I moved out when I was super young. Just saying. Don't like the cussing. Not my problem. Quit getting butthurt over everything in this world because that seems to be how it's been going lately. Everybody just gets so fucking offended over like the stupidest, most pathetic things that don't even involve, involve them. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry it has been a minute since I made a video. I know back in December I said that I wasn't going to be making them because I work all the time and I don't have much time to make videos. And then in January it was like I came out with a bang and I busted out like four videos and then February came. Did I do a February favorites? I feel like I didn't. If I didn't, I'm sorry. But anyway, this was my March favorites. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!